So right off the bat, I can feel the turbo pull. And one thing I like is with the paddle shifters, you can use them when you're just in your regular drive mode and then you hold the right shifter and it'll just automatically go back to automatic mode. But if you put it in the stick shift mode, it'll stay like that until you put it back in a drive. So that's really helpful if you're just trying to pass somebody on the interstate, but you wanna keep cruising after the fact, you can just hit the paddles, hold this, turn them off. And the shifts are very responsive, which I like. is really smooth even with these bigger 19 inch wheels and the skinny tires they have a little noise coming from them which is to be expected but it's nothing all that would bother me at least shifts here and next we're going to go ahead and put in the sport mode Yeah, this sport mode is really peppy, I can already tell. I'm gonna give some throttle coming out of this corner. Woo! Oh my, yes. Yeah, that's nice right there. Really nice. And it doesn't really have a really loud engine or loud exhaust, but it's fast. Like really fast for this kind of car. So I'm just testing the adaptive cruise here. As you can see, it's slowing the car down to keep a safe distance between myself and the vehicle in front of me. And as I adjust the gap, it'll get closer. So far, this car has been really impressive all the way around from the exterior styling to the interior, even how comfortable the seats are. And the driving experience is really, really great. the cooled seat on now and it is it's ice cold and it's on the lowest setting so that is oh that's really nice 
I'd say this is one of the best cooled seats I've ever experienced. Like it's, it's like it's blowing. It's like the freezer's open on my back. So with all that being said, I am very impressed with the 2021 Mazda 6 Carbon Edition.